The summer is officially coming to an end. The water temps are finally starting to drop and we are entering one of the prime seasons of the year to go fishing. And that is exactly what we are doing today. Well, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to today's episode. Today we are going flow tube fishing, targeting pike, perch, sander, whatever wants to bite our lures. Like I said, the summer is coming to an end and those temps are dropping, but, but it's still not really season to go out and you know, only targeting big pike. We still want the water temp to drop a little bit more, but this time of the year is perfect for kind of all around fishing, casting something, you know, that can be eaten by a pike, a perch or a sander. And these three species in many waters uh, live and behave kind of uh, similar. So it's uh, possible to fish them all at once, even though today we are mainly targeting pike and perch. I haven't caught a sander in this water, but I know there are sander here. It's a rather big kind of lake with a little bit murky water, uh, lots of weed lines and so on. So I think we'll Throw, throw some shatter baits, some crank baits, some soft baits, and uh, see what will bite. I'm rocking my swimming shorts today. Me and my family are visiting the parents of my wife, and uh, I didn't plan to do any flow tube fishing, so I didn't bring any waders or any fins. So, running barefoot, and I found a pair of diving fins from my father in law. So, we will use these. Hey, this works too. No need for any fancy fins and no need for any fancy boat like that either. We're doing good from this uh, platform. So with that said, let's get rigged up and start fishing right outsider. Because today I think it's going to be all about covering water. I brought one pike rod and one perch rod today. And I think I'm going to rig both my rods to start off with shatter baits. Look at these guys. This has become one of my favorite lure types for both pike and perch fishing, mainly when we have a little bit higher temps, like today. But I've also had a great success with these guys, even in November. This is the Gunky Boomer 20 gram version, rigged up with an M War Monkey Rib new color salt and pepper lime. I think this one will be perfect for targeting, you know, multi species whatever we want to bite. And then if we get some pike vibes somewhere, you know, if we hit some sweet looking grass, we might put on this one which is a mega bass wild header and a nettle juvenile. This one is dynamite for a hungry pike. I think I'm gonna start with this light setup. Uh, we actually have a slight breeze along this weed line. So my plan is that I'm gonna do some stand up fishing on this one and just drifting along here. Oh, look at that. So like I said, this is kind of a deep weed line. We have uh, five, six, maybe seven meters out here. So I'm just gonna cast this one close to the weed line. Let it sink for a few moments and then fish it, you know, kind of following the bottom. We have high pressure and rising, so I think and hope that these fish should be on the hunt and could be willing to rise for a snack. Grinding mode on, folks. Casting and casting and casting. There we have one. Whoa, I was just gonna say that I'll fish now for 10 minutes, covered some grounds here, but haven't felt anything. And then we just wanna start speaking after 10 minutes of silence. This guy, old pike, smashed the shadow bait. Like I said, we have more or less straight weed line all around this lake. And then it's really important when you have places like this, it goes in kind of a tiny bay. It gets a little bit shallower outside, it looks like. We have a little bit of weed. That, that's a good breaking point. That indicates that we have something changing here, you know, in the structure. And these kind of spots are always interesting in uh, any kind of fishing, because that usually attracts bait fish and, and predators. Thank you, little pike. First one of the morning. It's gonna be a quick release. Extra important now when the water is still quite warm. 10 15 minutes of fishing and we have the first one. Super fun. And this lure worked as I thought. Yeah, really. Oh, and, oh, we have one. <laughs> she came with such force that I. Oh, she came off. Oh, this one is doing the trick. Only small pike so far, but 
That's fun too. That's what I like about this fishing. Rocking fairly small lures, light gear. And then it's important to use a wire leader, I think. This is a ready-made Wolfram leader from darts. Working really good. Ah, oh, missed one, I think. No, fish on. We have a fish on. Oh, we have, oh, big perch following. What the heck, they're biting this one. They're biting this perch. They're biting this perch. What the actual heck. I caught this one on the boomer and I had three or four big perch biting this one in the tail. Back you go and back you go. Oh my God. Holy macaroni. I've never seen that ever. You know, I, I hooked that perch and as I fought it, I saw that there were more perch following, which can happen sometimes. But then they start, it started to attack the perch that was hooked. You know, really biting its tail, biting its uh, its back fin, like maybe five, six times. We did it like <laughs> totally smashing it. All right, fins on. Now let's try to catch those guys. Here we are discussing presentations and retrieval speeds and color. Oh, missed one, I think. And those small details. And these perch are attacking each other. Now I have one. Perch on the shadow bait. These things are so efficient when it comes to covering water. Speed fishing like this. Bam. Took the tail on this one. But uh, like I said, they don't seem to be too picky. So I'm gonna keep casting this one. Getting this lure close enough to the fish and they will bite. This one is bigger. Yeah, this is big. Oh man, are we having fun. This is exactly what I came here for. Combined pike and perch fishing at its finest. Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, they're smoking it. So hard takes. This is quite a nice one. Look at that big fin. Gonna release it real quick because I wanna keep casting. This is why we do it. Those short adrenaline pumped moments when everything happens and then it's back to grinding mode. Got it. See if I can find another trailer. This one. Yes, found another one of these uh, lime salt and pepper. Of course, you can fish them like this too, but I like to fish these lures with a trailer to give them some more, you know, meat for the fish. If we're going for the big ones, more importantly, some movement on the drop, you know, with a paddle and so on. It can also create really funny color combinations. Now I just want something that I know works because I want to find those perch again. I know, I, I've said it before, but this uh, Revo X combo from Ovo Garcia is a uh, really good value for money. If you're looking to get yourself a new bait caster perch combo, or if you want to get into this type of fishing, this combo, you bite with a rod and reel together, less than 200 euros. And well, it does the trick for me. I'm sure it will for you as well. It's only, I would say, if you want to go down to the smallest, smallest stuff and still want to use a bait caster, then you will need to spend a lot of money to get a, get a good reel for that. This one still handles most of the stuff that I use. Let's go real crazy, shall we? I'll try this uh, June bug color, kind of dark purple-ish with some glitter, together with this uh, chartreuse white green thing. Look at that. Looks like the Joker purple and green together. Looks good. Of course you can drift with your you know, feet in the water as well. But I just think this is way more fun. Oh, now I have a nice perch. This is a nice one. Or it's a pike. <laughs> yep. Pike on the joker. Give him a quick release in water. There we go. How could I have missed that one? I made a thousand casts here. They wanted that June buggy flat nose. There we go. Oh, did you see that? That was a bigger pike. Scheiße. That was so cool. Just came up from, from underneath and slowly inhaled this lure. Man, these fish are on fire today. 
I'm gonna try a few casts now with this uh, Nettle Juvenile Wild Header combo on my Gator Swimbait Explorer and Daiwa Tatula 200. Ooh! <laughs> Second cast with a, with a Juvenile <clears throat> and we had a Juvenile Pike jumping after it. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, 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 oh my god, that was a big pike. I had a 90 plus pike coming up. Can I go back to this uh, small one now with the Flatnose Mini? While well, covering water, and then if we encounter some extra pikey area, I'm gonna go back to that wild header. What do we have here? Oh, oh, didn't even feel any bite. I thought I reeled into some kind of weed. And up comes a nice pike. Oh my god. I did not expect that. This is a nice one. Oh, she's long and thin. Well, there we go. Smoke that flat nose uh, mini boomer. Look at this mean girl. She's uh, thin, but she's long and she has a big mouth. Super easy to unhook with this uh, single hook and this uh, June bug trailer did the trick. Super fun pike on light gear. Let's put it back. Bye bye beauty. For a while. Oh man, this thing is catching small pike, big pike, small perch, big perch. It's catching everything. Yellow, green and purple actually worked quite well together. Looks nice. If you want to get yourself one of these boomers, you can get them on the link up here. There you can also find this uh, Revo X combo and these flow tubes and these Costas, you name it. What we use in the videos, you will also find at uh, Canar Goddess e-commerce. But uh, man, we're catching them today. They are feeding like crazy. All right, let's keep casting. There, we missed one. Scheiße. That was something heavy. That was a pike or a perch. Oh man! She killed that one! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> this boomer with a flat nose mini, they are just killing it. Completely crazy! Don't break my rod! Get in there! Ah. This girl came flying out of the water right in front of my feet to kill this shadow bait. <sighs> I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. This is just so incredibly fun. Let's put it back. If I'm gonna continue the speech about why I think the shadow bait is the best lure for this kind of fishing this time of the year, then I think this uh, single hook is not a great point. We don't have a bunch of troubles. Jesus Christ. They are crazy today. Maybe I shouldn't leave my lure in the water like that with this crazy fish or I will find my rod flying into the water. Just because we can, let's try another fun lure which I have here somewhere. This one. The Lover Spinnerbait from Mulix. Really crazy lure. A spinnerbait with three blades and uh, Spinnerbait as a lure type is quite similar to shadowbait in in many ways. So I'm gonna try to rig this one with a flat nose mini. I'm gonna rock it on my pike rod to be able to reel it through the grass really, really easy. First cast! First cast and we're hooked up! Oh, I was just gonna say that these three blades make it hard to reel in. First pike of the day on my pike setup. I recently made another video with this lure and then I had to work much harder to catch one on it. Oh, off you go. Really crazy stuff. That take was hard, I can tell you that. I forgot to set the drag, but compensated with my thumb, so it didn't matter. Uh, another pike. 
these fish are so on fire. Let's land this girl beside her because it was not fun fighting these girls between my legs. There we go. Boom. Second largest of today, I think. They seem to like some bling bling today. Look at that. Hungry girls. My flat was mini came off during the fight. I think I have a few more of those, so let's put those on. Like that. And just a quick release. I could fish this with my Revo X combo as well, but, but like I said, because of these blades, it's quite heavy to reel in. So I found it a little bit more convenient to use with heavier gear. Let's go back to this one. Still want to have the chance to catch perch. Fish on! Fish on! What do we have here? Small pike. Still a lot of fun. Pike number, I have no idea. Well, I let myself drift into the weed, so we're anchored and uh, Let's have a well-deserved sip of coffee, I think. Usually I take this after the first fish has been landed, but we haven't had time for that. So now we have maybe, what do we have, 10 pike maybe? Before moving on, I'm just gonna warm my, my legs a little bit up here in the air. And as the sun is breaking through these clouds a little bit more, I'm gonna try another color of the trailer. If this doesn't work, we'll go back to the June bug thing later. But this one looks sweet. Let's uh, put those fins on and get moving. Fishing in the jungle. Fish on. Now I've fished all this weed line and I'm gonna start to work my way out, fish a deep hole out here, see if we can catch something. I'm gonna leave this one in the water while rowing, just because we can. There's trolling with rod holders. There's handheld trolling and there's uh, foothold trolling. This is the pro level. I wonder what a take feels like in my foot. Or fish ourselves along the weed for a long stretch. Haven't had a bite in something like two hours, I think. Fish on! Foot held trolling did the trick. And we have a pike here on the boomer. This is a nice one, I think. This must be the biggest pike out today. Oh yes, that's a nice one. Another maybe 90. There we go, look at that. Every way to catch them is a good way. <laughs> I felt that bite between my, you know, my big toe an index toe. I think we have the biggest pike of, of the day here. Might be the last one as well. We're working our way back to where we launched the flow tube. And uh, bam. <laughs> That's just so much fun. Down she goes. Well, now we just arrived to where I wanted to do some more casting, where we caught those fish earlier today. So let's see if we can catch one or two more here before heading back home. Perch on. Oh, nice one. Nice perch. I was just talking about that I wanted another perch. And here we go. Look at that. Oh, yes. Smoke this one. Look at this lunker. Really nice one. On this shadow bait. Mission accomplished. We are ready to go back home. We have nice perch and nice pike. 
I'm just gonna give her a quick measurement and then put it back. What a phenomenal way to finish off this awesome day. Oh man, we have had a lot of fun today catching perch, catching pike, big ones, many, pike jumping out of the water, perch attacking each other, and you name it. Well, today has just been crazy. Well, to sum up the reasons why I think this is such a great lure for this period of the year, you know, kind of warm water, but still transitioning into fall. Number one, you can cover water super easy and quick. You just need to cast this one out, reel it in. Uh, with this 20 gram version, you will be able to keep the depth. I'd say you're fishing this one by default on like two meters when just cast and retrieving. Number two, we have the flexibility. You can just change those uh, trailers, which we have done today. And I mean, they have been eating trailer jigs for lunch today, especially these purple ones. They have been crushing it today. Well, reason number three, this guy makes a lot of vibrations and generally this time of the year the fish are in for the hunt and the easier they can find out about your lure, the better. So uh, that was it for today. If you like what we do, feel free to subscribe up here. That would be much appreciated. This crazy spinner bait and all the other lures used in this episode can be found up here. And if you like this video, I think you'll also like this one and this one. Lights out.